Hello, and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick, and we are continuing on with the construction set of IXLs today. Continuing on to D2, which is to construct a perpendicular line. Constructing a perpendicular line was the fourth of the major constructions we've uh, done in class, four of six, uh, I believe, of the major ones. So um, there are just a couple steps to this one. We have our uh, line. First of all, our parallel um, or horizontal line. We grab our compass, we draw an arc that goes through two places of that line. So we go from here, here, and then draw it. it has to intersect at both places. And then we take that compass, we put the point here, make another arc or circle here, and then put the point over on this first point, and then make another arc or circle here. So over here, they do circles. Over here, we do arcs. Same deal though. So. Uh, the point of this first problem um, is to draw a perpendicular line that goes through A, so a perpendicular line uh, to BC also goes through A. So all you need to do is draw that line between, you can either do the intersection point here or A, doesn't matter, and then E. Okay, so you can kind of see that is perpendicular there, forms kind of an X, so that'll submit, good, okay. Um, so something I want to point out for the last problem in this problem is the construction is really just three circles and that line. So we have a large circle here, we have an, another large circle here with the same radius, and then we have a small circle between them two. From there we can just connect the intersection points uh, to draw our perpendicular line. And that will pretty much be consistent for uh, the entire IXL. So same deal, we'll just draw a line there, well done. Okay, so we have our first large circle and then the small circle. So we're going to replicate this large circle. I'm going to click from uh, C to B just to get one with the same radius like that. We'll put it over here and that way our small circle is between the two. And then from here, we just draw the line at the intersection points between both circles like that. And that way you see that it goes through A. Okay. So uh, again, you see two of the circles here. We are uh, missing the third one. So all we are going to do is do our little circle here. And uh, the instructions for these problems don't really change. They want the line to go through uh, A and it has to be perpendicular to B and C. So we'll draw our circle here, circle here, right there. And um, our third small circle here uh, doesn't have to, um, you don't really have to put it there because from here, since we put our second circle here, we can see that the intersection points form. So right there, the circles intersect and right here, the circles intersect and you can uh, see it go straight through A. So that'll work up to 83. Okay, now we just have our smaller circle right here. So we're going to form our two large circles. So we'll do but we want a bigger one than that. We'll do the entire diameter. Okay, good. And then we'll replicate that circle, put it over here, good. And then we see that the circles form two intersection points. We'll get our line, two intersection points. Again, you see it goes through A, click Submit, and we are already at 90, okay? So I'll stop there, uh, it's just a couple more, but that is all you really need to know. You just gotta add your circles in and draw the intersection point, okay? That is all, tune in for the next IXL tutorial video, goodbye.